Town Council makes progress on approval for the fiscal 2017 capital budget. Details from last night's Town Council meeting on this episode of Barnstable Today. It's Friday, April 8, 2016. I'm Sarah Colvin. Starting off last night's town council meeting, Hyannis Fire Commissioner Victor Skendi took to the podium to ask for support for a new fire Change station. is inevitable. No one can predict what our fire rescue services will look like in 20 or 30 years. I know that it will change, but I do know that as long as Hyannis is a seat of town government, as long as Hyannis is the transportation hub of the Cape, as long as Hyannis is the medical center of the Cape, as long as Hyannis is the center for business and commerce, as long as Hyannis hosts thousands of tourists every year, there will be a firehouse on High School Road. This is the fourth time the people of Hyannis have been asked to vote. The last time, 64% of those voting were in favor of the bond issue. We needed 67. It's time we build a 21st century station that everyone agrees we need. Commission Chair Cross followed Skendi with more words of support. A vote on the new fire station will take place tomorrow, Saturday, April 9th at Barnstable High School from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. Well, each year the Comprehensive Financial Advisory Committee provides an independent review of the proposed budget. CPAC member Cindy Crossman presented the report to Council. For 2000, FY 2017, the town manager has recommended in total, 26% of the projects with a total value of $29.9 million. This represents 63% of the requested projects. And given that 74% of the requested projects failed to make the final list, and they are obviously all legitimate projects that do need to be addressed, our concern is the future planning of these capital needs and how they're going to be addressed. We'd also like to note that there was a significant increase from last year's plan to this year's plan, about 70% more in each of the general fund and enterprise fund. Most of those are from the Department of Public Works. So again, planning, significant planning and funding needs are going to be, have to be thought out for those. Uh, we're pleased that several of our past recommendations have been implemented and uh, for example the process where the town manager reviews all of them and we review just the final ones that that was approved a couple years ago and is ongoing and the administration has adopted a recommendation of ours to list future significant projects in their big book um, it's on page two and but we would just encourage further that these be expanded upon with regards to funding sources estimated costs because there's especially one the area-wide water control management plan, it'll probably be the single largest capital program the town has ever had to uh, deal with. Some projects do not appear to meet the spirit of the letter with regards to cost criteria. Uh, our report references the hydrilla removal in numerous ponds. So given the recurring nature of these expenditures, our report simply suggests to maybe reclassifying them to operating, and, or maybe look at new solutions if they're recurring for numerous years to just maybe something else should be uh, looked at. And a repeat comment from the prior years with regards to the replacement of heavy equipment, mainly talking about rolling stock equipment, things for plowing, firefighting equipment, vehicles, things of that nature, and maybe looking at creating a parallel capital budget of some sort with an acquisition process to address those type because they're different than you know repairing a roof on the high school and um, pr private roads repairs has received significant discussion amongst the CFAC committee and the especially the designation of the sewer trust fund dollars last year four roads were identified and repaired and this year two more have been identified and it's without question that they need repair it's um, we, we feel, though, that there needs to be a um, program of some sort with uniform policy where standardized criteria 
are used to identify those roads and then the dollars spent on those roads it's more consistent because you're only using them on these qualified roads. Councillor John Flores who serves as chair of the town manager search committee provided an update. Seven candidates were culled from an initial selection of 15 and five were interviewed in closed door sessions last week. Um, from those 10 um, applicants the screening committee invited seven um, to come in for the interviews which were held again over March 30th, 31st, and April 1 last week. <clears throat> Out of the seven uh, that um, we talked about, five accepted, um, and most recently, as I've said, the screening committee did interview all five. And I might add, all five are very good candidates, all qualified. They represent diverse backgrounds, diverse experience, uh, but all, um, we believe, when I say we, meaning the screening committee, uh, believe can be a successful town manager uh, here in uh, the town of Barnstable. Um, the next process uh, that we're going to engage in, uh, which is ongoing now, is that the Collins Center is continuing to perform additional background checks um, on the five candidates. Uh, we have planned an open meeting, then an executive session uh, scheduled for April 21st uh, by the screening committee to decide on um, whether we're going to move those uh, ultimate five candidates as they are now to the full council or whether we will uh, diminish that number and whether or not those five candidates still want to be active uh, in the those process. finalists will be interviewed during a special public meeting of the full council to be held on Saturday, May 7th, 2016. Um, only the uh, full council will be uh, allowed to ask questions uh, and evaluate the finalists, but anyone who was listening uh, this evening uh, or is here in the audience is welcome to come and uh, listen in uh, as to uh, what will be being asked uh, as well as the discussion that will be held. Uh, but we will be hopefully going into an executive session after that open meeting and uh, coming back out hopefully with a, a finalist uh, that we will uh, hopefully be able to have appointed uh, subject to uh, subsequent contract negotiations. And uh, finally, at our May 19th council, council meeting, we're hoping to have uh, the uh, candidate, the final candidate appointed. The names of the five candidates will be made public during the April 21st town council meeting. Barnesville Police Deputy Chief Matthew Sonnabend appeared before council to make the case for supplemental funding for training for new police officers. As you may be aware, the department has uh, experienced a significant number of retirements, including the retirement of several superior officers this year. The superior officer positions have been filled through the promotional process. However, there are still 10 vacant patrol officer positions. Unfortunately, during the preparation and finalization of the FY16 budget, the police department did not have sufficient information to project how many retirements would take place and what the replacement costs would be at that time. Currently, our need for additional patrol officers to attain full strength is significant. We have recently completed background checks, medical exams, psychological assessments, and reserve seats in the police academy starting April 11th in order to fill those vacancies. The costs associated with hiring, screening, equipping, and training the new officers requires a supplemental appropriation to the police department's FY16 operating budget in the amount of $106,878, as outlined below, for costs not allocated in our originally approved budget. The fiscal impact of this proposed amendment would be that the funds provided from the general fund reserves free cash, the balance in the reserves is currently $9,914,204. This is not a recurring cost that will be added to the department's FY17 operating Council budget. Council approved that supplemental funding. And then it was on to budget presentations. Council heard from the schools, golf, marine, and environmental affairs, and the airport. Council approved all the projects presented, completing nearly half of the proposed budget. Council meets next on April 21st. Budget presentations will continue. You may watch the entire council meeting online at townofbarnstable.us. Be sure to tune in to our daily live news broadcast, Barnstable This Morning, beginning at 8 a.m. Monday through Friday on Channel 18. Monday morning, we'll welcome Town Manager Tom Lynch, Interim Superintendent of Schools Bill Butler, and more. With Barnstable Today, I'm Sarah Colvin. <music>